The tuck splice is the splice we recommend for critical applications of spectra and plasma rope. It is strong, developing 95 to 100 percent of the strength of the rope, and it cannot pull apart accidentally. It does take a little longer to make, but since it uses less rope, it usually costs less than a lock stitch buried eye splice. Start the tuck splice the same way you did the buried eye splice, multiplying the circumference by 7 to determine the fit length. Our fit length will be 24 and a half inches. If we were using plasma fiber rope, our calculations would be the same. The tuck splice requires about one and a half fit lengths, so we'll lay out about 36 and a half inches. Mark this length with a band of electrician's tape. Now remove any tape that may be securing the end of the tail. Separate the strands slightly and tape the end of each strand securely, one at a time. Once you have all 12 strand ends taped, unbraid all the strands. Next, split the 12 strands into two groups of six each. Twelve strand rope is made up of six strands that are twisted to the right or S-twisted like this. And six that are twisted to the left or Z-twisted. Your next task is to match up pairs of strands where one strand is Z-twisted and the other strand is S-twisted. Start at the base of the strands and locate a pair of opposite twisted strands that are adjacent to one another. Follow them out to their ends and tape them together. Continue finding adjacent pairs of strands with opposite twists and taping them together. You may find it easier to match up the pairs if you first arrange the strands in a star pattern, as shown. In this way, the S and Z strands will be adjacent to each other. When all the strands are taped into pairs, divide the sets into two groups, putting one set of three on one side of your workspace and the other set on the other side. Next, form an eye. We're making a 12-inch eye, measuring it as you see here. As you lay out the eye, make sure the rope has no twists by following the same row of picks all the way around the eye. At the base of the eye, make a pilot hole in the body of the rope. Be sure to go straight through the rope, leaving three pairs of strands on one side of the hole and three pairs of strands on the other side. One, two, three. One, two, three. If you have one handy, use a short length of hollow pipe as a fid and pierce the pilot hole. Take three pairs of strands, insert them into the fid, push them through, and pull out the fid. Pull the strand pairs all the way through to form the eye, like this. If you're using a thimble, make sure your taped mark is all the way out of the thimble. There's an interesting variation on this splice developed by Sherman Moran, wherein all of the strands are passed down the center of the rope and then passed through the rope radially. If you're interested in trying this variation, more details are given at the end of this tape. Next, mark a set of picks starting at the point where the tail passes through the rope. Start by marking all six visible strands around the rope. The tool we're using is a Swedish FID and is available from most marine supply houses. Some people prefer to use a hollow tubular FID to avoid snagging the strands. Slip the tool under the first two strands, like so. Take the nearest pair of strands and pull them through. Make sure the strands are straight so that they lay side by side without overlapping each other.
Now, move around the rope to the next row of picks. And, just as you did before, push the tool under two strands. Take the nearest pair of strands, straighten them out, put them under and pull them through. Again, be careful not to put additional twists in the strands. And don't pull the strands too tight. Move around the rope again to the next row and go under two. Then pull the next two adjacent strands under. Move to the next row of picks and go under two, repeating the process. Again, go under two and pull the closest strands through. 